We'd always said it was a circus rock and roll drama. It was never called a Broadway musical, traditionally, a uh, traditional one. So I was working with my collaborators and the producers on trying to create a new brand of theater in New York. We were under the spotlight. It's Spider-Man, it's U2, Bono and Edge, it's me, it's the scale. But the critics came early and so the show that I would call the original show, ultimately the critics never saw that show. Let me ask you about the situation with Julie Taymor. What would you have done differently to prevent things from turning so ugly? Holy smokes. Not, not use Julie Taymor, no, not take the job. In a certain kind of bizarre way, we showed up a lot, but we let Julie have her way. And everybody told us how she behaves the best and creates the best in crisis. And we're sitting there feeling the crisis. But you let Picasso paint. There's a Broadway producer who puts it this way, that uh, the director is the captain of the ship, but the producer owns the ship. We were here every night, every show. And so you could feel the you know, ups and downs, and as we made changes, what worked and what didn't work. One of the producers of Spider-Man mentioned to me a Broadway expression. He said, the director is the captain of the ship, but the producer owns the ship. Do you think the producers made the decisions that they felt they had to as business people when you were dismissed from the production? It's a hard I question. don't even know what that means, ownership. I don't know what that means. Does that mean because they have the purse strings? They can make the decisions because they have the purse strings. And yet what's on the stage, I own. I'm still very proud of what I did with my collaborators. I'm very proud. It's got glitz, it's got glamour, and it's a fabulous way to lose your money. In an industry that rakes in over a billion dollars per year, eight out of ten shows are financial failures. It's sort of like swim at your own risk. But still, the bright lights in this casino lure investors to an elusive jackpot, the smash hit. Broadway is an all or nothing business. Risk, that's the real drama on Broadway. Why is Broadway such a risky business? From the embattled king of Disney theatricals fighting to make a comeback. And you can't know until it's on its feet if it's going to work. Investment units can begin at 10,000. To the small independent producer pushing to make millions. But if we are 100% sold out for 16 weeks, I think you can double your money. And the relentless yeah, team behind well, Broadway's well, most expensive show ever struggling to recover. Toughest thing I've ever dealt with. Now most people would have just cut their losses. I think we're uh, somewhere between idiots and true believers. You're about to meet Broadway's venture capitalists, out to survive and... Make a killing. Make a killing. This is Betting Big on Broadway. I'm Maria Bartiromo.